so uh, let us start painting um here uh, we are going to paint a small crow uh, which is flying so you will get to know how a crow uh, how to paint a crow in action so uh, this is a crow on ground so this is relatively easier so for that we will use two colors today so this is a brown one uh, so okay uh, for now i am going to remove this uh, so this is raw amber and this is paints grey okay if you don't have this color use black uh, if you don't have this color use brown okay so let us pour them okay by the way cool so see uh today i have a brush which has very good point see here yeah. this has a very good point we'll make use of it today so uh, i'm mixing the brown color with black or dark gray so i am getting a dark dark brown here after that let us make outline of a crow here so see how i'm approaching this so first i am painting its head and then a wing here and the second wing here okay now let us fill the body and the another wing so see just with one color we have placed the outline for one crow okay so when this will dry we'll add another layer on top of this but for that we need to wait okay so now that you have seen me do this first wash try to get this one by not using pencil just with your sharp brush try to get this this is good practice also one thing a crow has very uh, relatively lighter head than the uh, whole body so use a brush to lift some of the colors color from his head instantly you will feel that yes it is a crow and not any other bird crows have lighter head this part okay mm. so when a crow is flying we we see it like that we'll draw multiple small shapes here uh, by just using brush 
so that you will get idea uh, of a crow in different positions this is just a detailed drawing here we will learn the 3d part and uh, how the beak looks like and how the eye looks like etc but the movement will capture it on this on this side okay so now uh, while this is drying um, we will we will paint our bigger crow so for that i'm using this brush which doesn't have very good tip uh, it has a small tip uh, so our intention is mainly to fill the larger space and not to show the outlines okay so again only two colors so on this uh, um, on this image let us see the beak is faint also the neck is uh, quite uh, light colored and also the wings at this part uh, otherwise this whole portion is quite dark and also the legs are uh, legs are faint okay so we'll try to get this so uh, i am I, i've cleaned my brush and now making a mixture of brown and grey this will give me give me dark grey see this oh, okay okay wait so uh, you can see my palette um i have mixed uh, dark grey here let us start with the beak now for the eye uh, i am leaving white space here carefully okay so now that we have placed the faint colors let us get our darkest gray on the palette and quickly apply when this is wet okay i am constantly referring the uh, drawing here painting here for uh, colors Okay, so um, I'm going to remove some color from here, some from the beak. Now it is time for the eye.
here again deliberately i am adding a lot of water again this will create smudges on the paper which we want right now now again uh, some light color here for the legs today uh, it is very simple only one brush with a good tip that's the key now whenever i feel the light shade is missing on the paper mm -hmm. i'm using clean brush to remove the color Okay, so um, I'm going to wait for five minutes for you to get to this stage. Later, we will uh, paint the second layer on this one and uh, then start drawing the smaller figures here, uh, like four to five figures for the action part. Uh, wait for this to get dried completely uh, otherwise we'll get patches once this is dried we'll add second layer on it for the definition part Also observe one thing, uh, this grey is warm grey, this is cold grey. So all these small figures will try to paint them with a warm grey. So deliberately uh, I have used a cold grey here for, mm -hmm. the, for the difference in the colour and the atmosphere. Okay, so um, uh, let us draw the second layer on this one. For that, I am using brown color slightly mixed with the gray. And see what I am doing. Okay. 
वी आर गोइंग टू हिंट द फेदर्स विथ ओनली वन डार्क कलर Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll we'll keep it simplified. It is a small action figure. Okay, so let us start with a second action figure. Now, uh, after painting this one, I'll stop again for few minutes for you to catch up. So now, um, see, I have mixed. a warm grey again let us see how it goes so again the beak and the head So this crow is uh, trying to grab something very aggressively. So again, before it gets um, dried, remove some color from its head. Okay, so before uh, we'll wait for this to get dried. Uh, in the uh, meantime, let us move to this one. Again, try to make cold grey. Now I have the color. Let us.
so i think that is good enough for this one let us draw three more here okay so uh, i like the next figure um, i liked very much i mean the the crow here has opened uh, its beak so it looks it looks very nice uh, let us try to get that one very good yes Always try to keep the crow muscular. So the other birds do not look like that. Mais c'est ma prochaine, y'a pas couleur. Et ma prochaine, c'est autre chose. T'inquiète pas. Et dans deux semaines, c'est tout simple. Mais tu es là, le terminé. Good. Tu restes assis, t'es pas fini à classe.
Tu chantes pour nous, madame. Tu chantes pour nous. C'est pas sûr que tu N'oublie pas la semaine dernière, tu étais assis à côté de Mitilé, tu étais plus sérieux. Et il était La semaine dernière, quand tu étais assis, tu te rappelles comment tu étais assis pour le reste Ok, dans tes vidéos, on dirait que tu vas danser. Il ne faut pas trop danser, ça. Tu peux s'asseoir, tu fais ta vidéo. Ok, ta maman aussi doit te prendre quand tu es concentré. Quand tu as envie d'aller dans le danser, elle te prend quand tu es sérieux. Tu fais tes devoirs chaque semaine, Mitilé, c'est très bien. Yashika aussi fait ses devoirs chaque semaine, c'est très bien. Ma femme ne voulait pas dire qu'elle fait ses devoirs. Mais ça va, t'as pas de devoir pour l'école, toi. Ah. Non, j'ai pas de... Ça va se concentrer. Est-ce que maman va vous donner ce qu'elle a fait? Elle est belle, elle va être... C'est pas sa fin? J'ai pas de voix. J'ai pas de voix à lycée? Non, j'ai pas. C'est Yuvan, c'est plein de temps qu'il a les deux voix. Yuvan. Ma tia de voix à lycée. J'ai une fleur de pépé. Une année plus. Non, c'est une fleur de pépé. C'est une fleur de pépé. C'est une fleur de pépé. So now let us um, paint another one. This one is speci especially my favorite because the way uh, it is standing. So see, um, again I am painting the beak, then the head. So the head is tilted, legs are slightly assorted. This is very nice position. Uh, again, make the neck and uh, head slightly faint. Si tu mets de l'eau, là elle va chercher des poussées. 
So today we are using only two colors, but we got to play with a lot of action figures here. So when we use uh, limited number of colors, we try to uh, focus morely on the action on uh, and on the shape and etc. So it is good practice also to uh, to use la less number of colors. Now uh, and also it uh, helps us improve our uh, drawing and. Uh, the perspective about the shapes Et qu'on pense qu'il vous a dit donc avec le noir vous pouvez rajouter un petit peu d'eau un petit peu de gris et puis ça fait vraiment différentes couleurs de noir que vous utilisez c'est ça que tu as essayé de tout montrer En tout cas quand vous allez devenir plus grand plus vieux vous allez comprendre un petit peu les petites nuances qu'il a essayé de mettre il vous a dit qu'il a fait différentes formes d'oiseaux avec les ailes déployées Essayez de faire de votre manière, même si aussi votre corbeau ressemble à un pigeon comme le papa de Kabish, c'est pas grave. Donc, on vous a déjà dit, on vous demande juste de la concentration jusqu'à ce que vous ayez chaque semaine. Bravo, really, very good, ça. C'est exactement ce qu'on te demande. Yeah. So, yesterday, uh, for the class, um, I, I tried these few couple of crows here. So today we, I'm just trying to paste them from here to here, but the main part is the whole paper is just covered with black and brown. But still, I find this more prettier than the colorful images. See, uh, this big one uh, I did I am I drew directly today, but these I practiced yesterday. So um, let us do this one. This is a very basic shape. Uh, like it is standing normally, not unlike uh, unlike this one. Uh, it is very nice position. So um, let us uh, draw it here. Okay. So again. Sharp beak. After that, faint head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a left-handed. Yeah, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.